connect. this much harder than I thought I would do. I thought I'd be much more light on my feet after bouncing around the sillies. But uh, yeah, it just seemed to be having to take lots of small rest stops today. Still, when the views are like this, is this good? Just look at that. Sheep are corralled uh, uh, for overnight, so they are sheltered, protected. Hmm? Oh, there's not one over there, didn't they? Somewhere. I think, uh, I think, I think there. Um, can't see my finger, but along there. Everything looks so small. Looks like it's. It's a bit weird, but it's sort of surreal when it's so big but so far away and therefore so small. It's weird. <clears throat> and, uh, and there's Knecht there. Um, and there's some climbing involved there, so. Back to the bit that tried to kill us in 60 mile winds and wet rock with zero traction. That was not fun. Dude, you imagine we came down that, down it, not up, with no traction on the rock whatsoever. If we didn't hit and with 60 mile, 50, 60 mile an hour winds, it was insane. Oh, look at the glider. It's close. Real close. Oh. 
goes down to the ridge. And there's Snowden. So we've come round to the head of the valley after travelling up the one side and over Knicht. Just getting, so that'll be a sort of high point I'd imagine. I'm looking right down the valley. Thank you. You're welcome sir. Hiking companion for the day. It's a solver enough. Leave our Uno. Whew. Nice little island, Sullivan wants to live there. <laughs> Very boggy and marshy around here. So, wet feet. That's uh, that's connect that we walked up from the other side. And a little sort of point at the top. So, uh, and we've walked along that ridge line. And then we've come down those boulders there and then across through the marshland and now we're heading um, towards the other side of the valley where we're on top of just at the top at the end so I suppose you could say we're 50% of the way through the walk in terms of miles, but the second part will be faster because it's almost entirely downhill relative to the first part. <laughs> Uh, well, bridge dude, I don't think it's a, it's a dam. These are all with reservoirs. Not all, but you know, some. We are off piece dude, we need to go left. We are. Yeah, we're off, off the track. Thing. 
little, uh, you know, the little hut or like sh well, not hut, like shelters. They're shelters from the weather, aren't they? Yeah, see that, yeah. There's one over there as well. Um, just back there. <laughs> yeah, they were, uh, they were, they were for the rich people. No, we couldn't afford those. Spectacular place. I think life went on here. Hive of industry and hard labour. You know, people had to, I mean, we're here, but people had to get here. So that, for most people, would be a bit of an effort. Then they'd have to graft the, the, their way through the day and, uh, and then they'd have to trot home and broken after all the hard work. That's all. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we did. Uncle Mark knows best. Say hi to Jack and to Annie. <laughs> oh, <hoopty. laughs> Oh no, the the bum shuffle of shame. There's a lovely couple up there who are having uh, a couple of beers because they are camping over the night, and I would very much have liked to have done that today, but but my nephew is uh, is otherwise engaged, aren't you, Sol? For tomorrow. It's not bad at all. It was it was a bit of a last minute thing about coming out anyway, so nothing bad whatsoever. Got to enjoy a lovely day. These things thunder down um, when it's been wet, but it's, it's like a trickle, nothing. Give me joints. <laughs> <laughs> 